Hey, Elias from Nonpoint. Um, hopefully it's our music. You know, hopefully uh, people like what we do and uh, they continue to ask us to continue to release records and to tour. So uh, we're normally touring 10 months out of the year. So we're normally booked. So that's a good thing. I think, uh, you know, our music and, you know, hopefully our, our diehard fans kind of uh, keep us going. Um, he, uh, it was a suggestion and, uh, uh, from the label. Uh, it's one of the names that came up. They asked us if we ever considered using a producer, and normally we said, well, it's you know, been up to the label, and the label in the past has just said, hey, we like what you guys are doing, keep doing what you're doing. And you know, uh, we asked them, well, would you be willing to pay for, let's say, somebody like Johnny Kay? And they were like, absolutely. So, you know, that's, you know, it's a different story when, when, you know, the label's so supportive of, of uh, you know, your next release. And, and uh, that was a suggestion of them, and they, they pretty much bit the bill, so <laughs> it, was, uh, it, it was awesome. The, the guy has great perspective. Mm -hmm. uh, first time I sat down with him uh, with the demos, he, he immediately started giving ideas, so it was, uh, it was a love at first sight. Uh, not at all. Uh, yeah, I uh, it's it's. <clears throat> I mean, it's always hard to uh, to hear criticism for something mm -hmm. that you wrote. Um, but when you're coming from somebody that's you know has has such you know a a, a resume and 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 um, like I said, does it for a living. So mm -hmm. you know he he has as much passion and pride in his work as we have in ours. And you know we're kind of on the same team. So um, I'm all for for good ideas. Well, no, I mean, changing our sound, everyone changes their sound. I agree. If, if, if I was going to write the same song a dozen times and release it nine <laughs> times in a row, I think people would have gotten sick of it by now. I think I attest our longevity to the fact that we do alter our sound and we go with what we feel like we want to write. Mm -hmm. And it has nothing to do with what somebody else says. Johnny K did not write one lick of note or one lick of lyric on our record, mm -hmm. nor did he steer the ship in any direction. He listened to 30 songs. We all together voted which mm -hmm. ones were the best that we were going to work on, and we worked on those 15 together. But he pretty much was just saying, hey, I like this part. What do you guys think about maybe doing this a little bit more or maybe going in this direction with this? But it, it was never a sense of me ever doing anything that someone told me to do. I, I think everyone, you know, that's why that's what songwriters are for. And we don't work we we don't work with songwriters. Johnny K produced us, which is, you know, what he does great and he did a great job. And, you know, to be honest with you, I could give a shit what the critics think about what I do because they don't feed my daughter. I feed my daughter with my records. And Johnny K does the same thing with his job. And I have just as much pride in what I do as he does in what he does. So uh, you know, I think, you know, if, if, if one's going to be critical or say mm -hmm. that I've changed, I think that anyone would say his change is good because, you know, uh, an hour of non-point is, is enough without doing the same song a dozen times. I really don't, I really don't go to music for that. I go to music for like, you know, for the release that, that, mm -hmm that you know you listen to music for mm -hmm. you know I, I i really don't that it's a different kind of you know thing for me i write music when i'm sad and okay. when uh, it, music is just uh it's that great background to help you enjoy life with mm -hmm. you know some stuff like deftones and circa circus arrive and uh dredge and bands that are, are you know and pink floyd and bands that really are trying to do something different and you know that you can't pigeon them into one kind of thing like you can't say well that's just an all-american rock band or mm -hmm. you know Deftones or you can't say what they are mm -hmm. and and that's that's what I at least that's what we aim for you know and and we try to be different and you know that may shake some people but that's the whole point of all this mm -hmm. so you know I'm hoping that that's what I am to people too is that when they go to listen to me that it's something that just helps them you know kind of live their life makes sense um, 
to watch 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 the team more. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, there's a lot of hands in the pot. There's mm -hmm. a lot of uh, managers and agents and labels and all this other stuff. And um, you know, in hindsight, you know, you 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 always wish you had been more involved in the beginning because then, mm -hmm. you know, my expertise now is like you know, it's it's. It's literally years of, of mistakes to get to the point where, you know, God, that's the way you should have freaking done it. And that's, that's the, uh, so I, I would say to any band, just, you know, get somebody that you trust and watch them like a hawk so that way you make sure that what they're saying is really what they're doing. Because they'll tell you a million things. Mm -hmm. Just make sure. Because the, the industry couldn't. didn't allow it. Right, you exactly. couldn't. Exactly. It's, it mm -hmm. it's such a man, they hold it close. But now it's been with the internet and everything. People always ask me that about, about the internet. And it's like, what do you think about it? It's like, I'm glad it blew everything up. Uh -huh. It popped the bubble. It destroyed the industry. It popped way, the bubble yeah. in a sense where, but in the same sense though, it's, a, it's still making that shift over mm -hmm. back into the hands of where it belongs, where now even labels are giving more value to mm -hmm. a band. Where now, okay. now they understand, okay, yeah, we bled you dry for a little bit. Let's treat you like an adult and split this at least halfway down the right. middle so that way, you know, you can invest the same amount as we mm -hmm. invest, you know, and, and, you know, we can be partners in it as opposed to feeling like you're employees mm -hmm. of, of it, you know, which is, I think that that's great for new bands. You know, they have more, you know, they're their own bosses again, which is great. I tell you, Razor and Tie, man, they got it. They got it down. You know, everyone everyone makes mistakes, and every every label has its its you know ups and its downs. Mm -hmm. But you know, you you uh, they're young and they're hungry mm -hmm. over there, and 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 you know, I love what they did with the guys in All That Remains, and mm -hmm. you know what they're doing for Pod, and 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 you know now they got Hey Breed, so you know they're they're just a, a a really you know a really hungry label that's that's mm -hmm. you know doing it right, and you know when when we got that offer, we were like. Yeah, let's do this. Yeah, they're doing really well and doing well bringing in bands that have established fan bases and keeping them going. Hmm. Um, the sweatiest, most emotionally filled, action-packed live show of your life. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Thank you. Thank you.